So in the series of learning Python programming language, in this video we'll talk about history of Python. In previous video we have talked about like some features of Python, why it is so popular and uh, the application of Python, application areas, in which areas Python is being used, these things we have discussed. In this video we'll talk about the who is creator of Python, why he invented this, why he created this, when, how, where, what is the motto behind uh, designing of this language and the version history of this language. Right, all these things we'll talk about in this video. So actually, creator or you can say designer of Python languages, it's he's a Dutch programmer, Guido van Rossum. He started working on this project in actually in 1989 during his Christmas holidays. Right? And at that time he was working in CWI, Centrum Viscandian Informatica Center at that time. I uh, know on a project, a distributed operating system, Ameba. At that time he was working on that project. And in his early 1980s, he had worked on a programming language, ABC, ABC programming language. So he was having some experience of working on a programming language or designing of a programming language, like which factors or which you need to take care while you design a new language, like you know, some features and all these things. So he was having some experience of this thing, right? So he had worked on the ABC programming language and he was also working in C also, you know, during the, during his project of distributed operating system, distributed operating, operating system, right? So he was having some experience about this thing. And so during, you know, in this, his Christmas holidays as a hobby project, he started working on this project on, you can say, designing of a new language. So he took some features from ABC programming language, or you can say Python is a successor of ABC programming language. You know, he really liked some features of ABC programming language and yeah, there are some features, you know, uh, he uh, didn't like those features, right? But he took some features from that language and fixed all the flows which was there in that language and added some new features and designed a new language within three months. He had worked on this project, with, you know, for three months only and he designed a new language or you can say new scripting language named python and why he named this language as python because he, at, at that time you know he was a fan of a british uh, tv series named monty python's flying circus it was a comedy series right comedy uh, series type of thing so or uh, uh, the, that uh, series also known as monty python so he was fan of that thing so he took the name from that tv series python he wanted a new name, unique name, you know, out of league name, something different, something different. So he took that name, Python. But Python is not inspired from Java. Many students think that like now object oriented programming concept, the whoop concepts was taken from Java. No, actually the idea of designing of Python came up in 1989 and for Java it was in 1995, right? So it's way before Java. It is taken from, you can say he was having some experience of C language also, then ABC programming language, as well as exceptional handling concept was not there in ABC programming language. And ABC language was not extensible. You know, he, they, they were not able to add new features in that programming language. And during the working of, working on projects, you know, he thought that he was, you know, facing some issues and all. So, it was not able, he was not able to extend ABC programming language, new features were not added. That is why he, you know, designed a new language. And exceptional handling concept was taken, the idea of this concept basically taken from modular language, right? So you can say Python is inspired from ABC as well as my uh, modular language. So he took some features from ABC, one feature from uh, you know, modular language, Python, uh, exception handling and designed a new scripting language and after three months, he showed his work, this kind of thing in you know, his office and they started working. Even actually they started using that scripting language. Scripting language means just you can write down a script or some code to automate some task. Manually you don't need to do that task to automate some task of existing system. You can you know, write down a script, a small script, a small code. So they started using it. They started you know, doing improvement in that thing. So, uh, in 1994, primary discussion forum was formed for Python and it was an open source project. You know, Guido decided to keep it as open source. 
so that anybody can use it and contribute in this source code just for its improvement right they can also add some features and all to improve that programming language and finally in 19 in feb 1991 first version was released that was known as 0 0.9.0 having some features of like classes, inheritance, exceptional handling and some primitive like data types, list, dictionaries, strings, these things. But official version of this, the first version 1.0 was released in 1991. In 1991, 1.0 official version was released with some extra features like lambda, map, reduce, filter and then after that 1.1, 1.2 like this. 1.6 updated version fixing of some flows and all added of new features and all then version 2.0 was released in 2000 following by the versions 2.1 2.2 2.3 like this till 2.7 in 2010 but they have announced that on january 1st of january 2020 they have announced that they are going to end the support for this version 2.x version they are not going to support this version anymore right so now recently version is 3.x version so basically first of all version 3.0 came into picture in 2008 then 3.1 3.2 something like this and the latest version is 3.10 which was released in 2021 so we are going to work on this version only the latest version 3.10 we will download this thing python 3.10 right that we'll uh, see next video how to install and set up everything to you know work on this language to write down programs and uh, 3.11 will be released i guess in uh, this this year only 2022 in october and next year future releases 3.12 in 2023 so this is all about a small history of python that's all you need to take care basically who is designer of this language and where in netherland he was he is, sorry, <laughs> he was not, he is a Dutch programmer. He is still alive, okay, in Netherlands. He, I know, designed this language. So that is all about history of Python. Now in the next video, we will download Python, that interpreter and as well as the ID and we will start using those things. So now I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.